we will see one more application of dfs that is topological sort topological sort is very easy to understand i will explain that so what is topological sort problem is you have a directed graph and it does not contain cycle first of all so if it is a cycle then what sir we have to detect it so topological sort we apply only for directed acyclic graphs directed acyclic graph is nothing but a directed graph which does not contain cycle you know what is cycle right now if it has a cycle then what we have to do is we have to detect it first and we know how to detect a cycle in a directed graph so first run that algorithm and once there is no cycle keep doing this topological sort what is topological sort and what is an application of topological sort we'll see in topological sort what we do is we sort the elements based on their priorities that means you know whenever there is an edge from a to b in the graph we say that there is a requirement that b should be uh, finished after a that's why in this graph so that kind of requirements we store in a directed graph so directed graph is the best suitable thing for require uh, that kind of requirements example let's say you are studying as a student for your prerequisites example for gate you are preparing for gate right then i will tell you so what is topological sort for you and what is that graph for you so the graph for your requirements that that means the prerequisites are like this if you want to prepare for gate first start with discrete mathematics because discrete maths contains maths so if you have that fundamentals then you can understand other subjects easily that's why if you want to start data structures or algorithms or any subject discrete maths is prerequisite then there will be an edge like this discrete maths to data structures let me take only three subjects or four subjects let me take discrete maths data structures let's say algorithms and digital okay with that i will try to explain you digital let's say co generally c1 digital does not require any mathematics concept okay so for data structures algorithms you know uh, you require some graph knowledge that's why so prerequisite is discrete maths so after discrete maths go to data structures after data structures go for algorithm then only you can understand algorithms clearly so this is the order similarly there is no relation between these three subjects and digital and co that's why so learn digital after that go for co but among these two digital first so this kind of graph is called you know directed acyclic graph correct so your requirements can be imagined as your like dag now what we are going to do is so we are going to do topological sort that means now given a graph how to prepare like how, what is the order you want to study so however only one particular order you can study example let's say raju want to prepare for gate then how to prepare tell me one example of preparation discrete maths after that maybe sorry discrete maths then digital possible because there is no order after the data structures after that let's say algorithms after that co so this is called sorting the requirements right topological sort so for this topology so this is a sort there is another sort possible discrete maths followed by digital followed by co followed by data structures and algorithms isn't it so yes so finally all these possible orders are called topological orders we have to find out one such order for given a directed acyclic graph for this problem this is topological sort and this is also right so given a problem now what we are going to do is we are going to find out one topological sort anything for this given graph so the graph topological sort we have to do here so that is nothing but you know dfs why dfs is equivalent to topological sort here we will see generally when there are two vertices 1 2 and there is an edge from 1 to 2 then what will be the topological order 1 followed by 2 correct no doubt on that but if you call dfs what happens you see so dfs if you call on 1 then what happens dfs indirectly called 2 right otherwise if you call dfs on 2 first then there is a possibility that so dfs of 2 will be closed and again dfs of 1 will be called correct on dfs of 2 1 will not be called because 2's neighbor is not 1 but 1's neighbor is 2 so here one important property just focus on finishing time of dfs of 1 when you call dfs of 1 first then 1 will be finished last if you call dfs on 2 first in this uh, scenario so still dfs of 1 will be closed so however in any way dfs of 1 will be closed last that means finishing time of dfs of 1 will be last if somehow if i find out the finishing times of every dfs call 
then based on that we can sort them example here let's whatever let me focus on this one example let's say i call dfs on one then what will be the starting time one then control comes here then starting time two then dfs2 will be closed finishing time is three then we'll come here finishing time four by this time i'm assuming that you are comfortable with starting times and finishing times if you don't understand this then please go through again depth first search traversal algorithm where i taught you starting times and finishing times so here see here finishing time of four is more than finishing time uh, finishing time of one is more than finishing time of two that's it that is a important thing about topological sort then now topological sort is nothing but take a graph apply dfs and print the elements based on their finishing times right whenever two elements are like connected like this definitely finishing time of uh, you know i mean whenever there is a range from a to b finishing time of a is more right so what i do is so i use this logic to find out the order of the elements since a is finishing time is greater right then i have to print it first correct so based on the finishing times you are going to print let's do that for this problem let's do dfs so dfs on one correct anywhere i can start if i start dfs of one what happens dfs of one will call dfs of two so because one's neighbor is two two's neighbor is what three and four let's call dfs on three doesn't matter anything is okay so dfs on two then dfs of three on dfs of three we will go to dfs of five correct please maintain the visited matrix so far we have encountered 1 2 3 4 5 1 is visited 2 is visited 3 is visited now 5 is visited on 5 go back on 3 go back on 2 so 2's neighbor is 4 that's why dfs on 4 we are comfortable with dfs we know right so this is the order of execution now we'll see the starting times and finishing times after that you know we'll go back and we'll go back and we'll finish the program first time will be starting time 1 then control comes here 2 then control comes here 3 control comes here 4 then dfs of 5 is closed then 5 then go back dfs of 3 is closed yes go back 6 then dfs of 2 is not closed because there is another neighbor called 4 then we'll come here starting point is now 7 correct then dfs of 4 will be closed 8 then we'll come here dfs of 2 2 doesn't have any new neighbor so close it then closing time is 9 after that you go back and close one so these are the finishing times if you see the finishing times who is having highest one correct so print one first after that what is the next highest nine then dfs on two right two will be printed after that what is the highest next highest number eight so four then what is the next highest number six so three then next highest number is five correct so one two four three five is the order one ten see ten then 9, 8, finishing time, finishing time of this one is 6, finishing time of this one is 5. So, answer is 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 1, 2, 4, 3, 5. Is it topological sort or not? You check it out. So, if really uh, you know anything about this graph, yes, the requirement is 1 is connected to 3, 1 is connected to, then definitely before uh, 3 and 2, 1 should be done, correct? So, 1 is first before 3 and 2 and that is decided right but i don't know order between 3 and 2 they can be in any order but 2 to 3 there is edge that's why 2 should be first after that 3 then between 4 and 5 there is edge between 3 to 5 there is edge that means what 5 should be after 3 and 4 but between 4 5 there is edge then 4 should be first after that 5 what about 3 4 4 to 3 there is edge that's why 4 should be first after that 3 so this is a topological sorted order 1 2 4 3 5 that is what we got understand so finally sir how to do it programmatically simply call dfs while closing any dfs see because we have to print in which order finishing times if finishing time is highest that will be first but how to do that simple take a linked list empty linked list first this is empty linked list on that so first of all but we don't know who will be finished last correct but we know who is finished first who will be finished first that is easy because while executing the program we understand that correct first time what will be closed see here 1 2 3 4 5 dfs of 5 will be closed first then we will be knowing it by this type correct while closing dfs of 5 in the method so you write in the dfs method 
so you will realize that this method is going to be closed so in the last you write like this so example print maybe i am print, printing print u if you write print u then you will be printed otherwise you want to you know uh, collect that objects in some link list what we do is so here call a method called insert in front okay so in the dfs method there will be a insert in front step of u into the link list okay so if i do that so what happens is whenever a function call is closed before that insert in front method will be executed that is going to insert a node in front of the list if that is the case first time this will be closed and dfs of 5 then this node 5 will be inserted into the link list first time so what is that node 5 5 will be linked after that what is the next one so after that this 3 will be closed right method then 3 will be inserted into the link list insert in front so that's why so because of that what happens it will maintain a stack order correct so that that is required for us after that dfs of 2 will be closed isn't it no that will not be closed then we'll come here and we close 4 then 4 will be appended after that what 2 will be closed after that 1 will be closed if 2 is closed then 2 will be added to the list after that one will be closed then one will be added to the list always you do insert in front then you can collect it so finally by doing insert in front we can get the order and we can collect that objects in that order also right so this is about topological sort what did we do we simply did dfs right apart from that so this to collect them we added one insert in front line extra in every code correct so in the dfs method we added that so that takes only order of one time correct so number of already dfs time complexity order of v plus e then because of this extra line so definitely time complex will not be increased correct at most you know how many times this insert in front will be done for every node one time there are v vertices v insert in front takes v time add that if you have a doubt add them v plus e plus v v the, uh, v plus e that's why time complexity of topological sort is order of v plus e algorithm is dfs but based on their finishing times of function calls you print the elements